Kuchimi Valley provides really interesting case studies for considering land reform and its future. The Golf Course RDP settlement is an interesting case for considering some of the unintended consequences of the government housing policies. In some ways, a golf course is very much like all RDP areas. Golf course is, is an area 2.5 to 3 kilometers away from Alice Town. It is an RDP settlement. People of golf course uh, complain a lot about lack of service delivery. The basic, basic needs, uh, water, electricity, roads, uh, they complain about that, and also um, basic facilities. These RDP areas lack the basic facilities that are common in wealthier suburbs. Facilities that working class people feel strongly they deserve too. We learn to the house for renovation, near clinics, near primary and high schools, near old age centre, near playgrounds, near supermarkets. No post office, no municipality to app, no MTN, ATM, no salon, no salon, no salon, no What is unusual about golf course is the process of gentrification which occurs within the community. When we speak about gentrification, we refer to a process where people of a, 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 of a higher economic bracket move into an area of a lower, lower income bracket and they begin to develop the properties uh, so that they make them to be more expensive and improving their value as well. Just across the road from each other, two women live in RDP houses that look identical on the outside. But in entering Yoliswa Forslag's home, it is clear that this is a family which has a source of income through employment. Their family has lived here happily for a number of years, looking after a house for a relative. I think it was 2013. Across the road, her neighbor, Nontebeko Boy, is living in a house that belongs to her daughter who qualified for it due to her lower income. In this area, many lower income households have to find creative ways to supplement their income. Miss Boy grows vegetables in her garden with the influx of new neighbours. Many people have found in them a source of income too. Town or Joburg. Other times it can be a family home passed on to another family member. And in some instances, these people who are coming in are able to provide jobs, small scale jobs to, to the poorest of the poor, such as it jobs to look after children, to look after property, to do the gardening, those kinds of things. The breaking new ground policy, which has been implemented at Golf Course, aims to integrate the lower class communities with higher class communities. It is more interested in having um, human settlements that are more sustainable, uh, housing that is at a higher range, uh, having people, different classes living together in one community. It is kind of trying to fight the segregation that was done uh, in colonial and apartheid era. So it is trying to integrate people. 
Within the golf course community, ownership of the houses is not necessarily with the person whose name is on the title deed. Many people rent out their homes to others. Unlike common perception, this is a perfectly legal practice and the government's breaking new ground policy recognises that low-income families may use their homes to get access to extra income. Many students, like Sibulelo Titiman, rents a home in the golf course settlement and is a university student at nearby Forte. Okay. Many students, like Sibulelo Titiman, find the housing in golf course much more affordable than staying in a resident at the university. That is what makes it worth staying here, despite the problems like security and bad service delivery. Some students on bursaries even rent out their residence rooms to others while staying here in golf course, thus making a profit. Firstly, what I recognized um, here is that most of the people here are people that work in town. So most of them are cars, yes, and then some of the houses, like the people here, they don't really stay on, like stay here. Like you get that the, there's like in a family, a family of five, right? The husband and the wife. Um, both the husband and the wife have RTP houses, but then they're gonna use one, and then the other one they're gonna rent it out. And then normally, like usually, the people that rent them out are like Lovedale students, like Lovedale Tivitt College, and then Forte students. After a low-income person has had their house for eight years, they are legally allowed to sell it. Only then does it make sense for the new owner to renovate the house and add rooms. The gentrification that has occurred here in Golf Course is an unexpected outcome of the government's housing policy. What it really points to is the lack of adequate housing provision for the lower middle classes. For them, the expensive suburbs remain out of reach and renovating an RDP is a much more attractive option. The future needs for housing of people living in the Greater Alice area, including students at the University of Fort Hay, require holistic creative solutions and actions in order to be solved.